Hi everyone and welcome to Scavenger Hunt Thursday. So what I'm going to be doing on Thursdays is wandering around my house and trying to find science, which to be honest, it is everywhere, so it's not really hard to do. So today what I wanted to do was start in the bathroom. I'm actually coming to you from my guest bathroom, and I want to talk about something that is super important right now, soap. So the way soap works is that it is this one magical molecule, and it's not really magic, obviously it's science. But this molecule has two sides. There's a hydrophobic side, so a side that is afraid of water, and there's a hydrophilic side, so a side that really likes water. So what happens is the soap molecules bind to the virus and the bacteria, and they kind of like, in a way you could use a crowbar to break something apart. So the soap comes in and slams into the virus and the bacteria, smashes it apart, opens it up, and then the hydrophobic side dives into the virus and then it leaves the hydrophilic side out. So when the water then flushes over your soap and the virus, the hydrophilic side, the part that likes water, grabs onto the water, and then the hydrophobic side that has the side to the virus is gonna grab that bacteria using the soap and it's gonna be flushed off your hand. But honestly, the most important thing you can do right now is to scrub your hands when you're washing your hands. So this virus actually has a really weak membrane on the outside. So when you're washing your hands for this specific situation, you want to scrub, scrub, scrub. So you need to take 20 seconds of you using your fingernails or a scrub brush and just rip apart your hands as much as you possibly can because you're actually trying to rip open that cell membrane which allows for us to basically render the virus inactive. So that's the most important thing, you gotta rip that virus apart. Now the second thing I wanna point out is I've seen a lot of garbage science um, out there about people trying to make their own hand sanitizer. So the CDC has gone out and studied a bunch of homemade hand sanitizers and they are not being very effective. So either people are not doing it very correctly or very well at home, or they're not adding a preservative to make sure that the alcohol stays in the hand sanitizer. So I want to caution you, please don't do this at home. You can do it at home for like a fun science experiment, that's great, um, but in general don't use homemade hand sanitizer to keep yourself safe. Buy hand sanitizer that's made online. We had to order ours, it took like two weeks to come, but it finally just got here. So we are using this when we're out and about, but honestly you should be staying in Side and washing your hands. So that's Scavenger Hunt Thursday. I will see you next week. Send me any requests if you have something like how to shampoo work or you know whatever it is, like whatever you're interested in, just let me know. I'm here for you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay at home.